47 year old male patient was admitted for blunt thoracic abdominal trauma following motor vehicle accident. A whole body CT scan with intravenous contrast was performed and showed a grade 2 splenic injury with associated small arterial blush and perisplenic free fluid. As incidental findings, an aneurysm in the distal splenic artery above the pancreatic tail was found, as well as anatomical variation of celiac trunk with only the origin of splenic artery and left gastric artery present. The day after, hemoglobin dropped from 12.4 to 10.3 grams per deciliter. A new CT scan showed worsening of the splenic injury with being now grade 3 with multiple arterial blushes and an increased perisplenic free fluid. And embolization was attempted for distal splenic embolization. However, the aneurysm couldn't be treated distally because the splenic artery was extremely tortuous. Proximal embolization was done to decrease the pressure in the aneurysm and prevent bleeding as a bridge to surgery. Laparoscopic splenectomy for definitive management of the aneurysm and removal of the severely injured spleen was planned and prevent risks of delayed rupture. Subimposition was adopted in case of need of front open conversion. Splenectomy started with division of splenocolic and splenorenal ligaments using a combination of monopolar hook and blunt dissection. Laparoscopic splenectomy for trauma is feasible and safe in selected patients in expert hands when the endovascular approach fails for anatomical reasons. Preoperative embolization may also be used as a bridge to a less invasive operative management. Decreased pain and faster postoperative recovery, reduced the rate of wounds and chest infections are well known advantages of laparoscopic approach, more relevant in trauma patients with rib fractures and lung contusions. Gastrosplenic ligament is dissected to expose the hilar region. Laparoscopic splenectomy is often the preferred approach in elective setting. In trauma patients, therapeutic laparoscopy is controversial. Only case reports and small series are reported in the literature and demonstrate successful management of these patients. Non-operative management with or without tangibilization is indicated for splenic injuries. However, the risk of failure and complications increase for high-grade injuries, grade 3 to 5. The spleen is fully mobilized and suspended by hanging maneuver. Inferior polar vein is ligated using hemolock. Remaining hilar and short gastric vessels are fully exposed and clamped with a vascular endostabler.
specimen was morselated into an endobag and extracted through the umbilical port. Hemodynamically stable patients with splenic injury where inoperative management fails or complicates can be efficiently managed by laparoscopic splenectomy. Preoperative embolization may also be a bridge to a less invasive operative therapy. Other indications include patients who are not suitable for lung recovery, for example, mentally impaired patients or athletes, polytrauma patients who required prolonged orthopedic surgery or prone position, technical difficulties for angioembolization, such as the tortuous splenic artery in the video, or an anatomical variation of celiac trunk. Open splenectomy remains the procedure of choice in hemodynamically unstable patients. The lesser sac was opened. Visceral artery aneurysm is a rare disorder with an incidence rate of 0.1 to 2% carrying the lethal consequence of aneurysm rupture. Splenic artery aneurysm is the most common type of visceral artery aneurysm, ranking the third common abdominal aneurysm, followed by aortic and iliac artery aneurysms. Most splenic artery aneurysms are asymptomatic and unexpectedly continue to increase as detected by imaging examinations. Pre-ilar splenic artery aneurysms with a risk of rupture can be successfully treated with low morbidity by using laparoscopic surgery. Angioembolization is a relatively simple and effective method in repairing splenic artery aneurysms. However, endovascular repair also has anatomic restrictions, such as extremely tortuous access to a target aneurysm or a large aneurysm located at the ilum of the spleen. The splenic artery was identified and isolated from the pancreatic body, finally clipped immediately proximally and distally to exclude the aneurysm. Laparoscopic splenectomy for trauma is feasible and safe in selected patients, in expert hands, when the endovascular approach fails for anatomical reasons. Preoperative embolization may also be used as a bridge to a less invasive operative management. Postoperative course was uneventful and the patient was discharged on postoperative day 6. Follow-up was done on postoperative day 21 with a CT scan which described the correct exclusion of the splenic aneurysm and its disappearance.